Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Bastion. Uh, not too much to really talk about here. Let's just hop right back into the game. Whee! I still remember the look on his face after that one. <laughs> Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. Sometimes a single look says it all. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Yep. Well, time to make a forge. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. Turns out those old bones still have some spark in them. Fetching fizz is like a mouthful of nails, but the benefits are worth it. That's Windbag Ranch. Perfect place to work a blade if you got the stomach for it. We'll go on to this next part and then we'll work on uh, the ranch part we just saw. used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure, though. But then... Somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt can bring the whole place down. Fragments of the old world rain in the sky. If 
finds a spyglass, like the ones they'd use to search the stars. Air travel always was an iffy proposition. But calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. Just a pain in the ass. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. Who else could have taken the core? Quick and careful is the only way to go. I must save the noble popcorn machine! to toss those things plenty far away. Fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky when they wake them up. Rawr. That kind of sucks we didn't get a fragment, but in all this whatever toil, it is. Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? Me! Well, I mean, their cockroach is probably everywhere, and Twinkies... Well, nah, probably not Twinkies. Because Twinkies no longer exist. So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. <laughs> We could always see the stars. We just never could reach them, no matter how high we build. Trapper Shingle, only place in the city to go to get certified with a repeater. Yeah, let's take on this. And get certified. Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't nothing more healthful. Some folks showed up to make a fast buck with nothing but a knife.
beasts to test their finest blades. all of them down soon enough. Something sharp. Awesome. Just wanted to sample it. Took a little bit too long to do it, though. Well, it's kind of sad, but, you know. Kid comes back from Windbag Ranch, smelling good and ripe. The little Zolwood oil on that blade shines like a light. I think for the next area, we'll give the war machete a try. A bow and a machete, every bit as effective as the fancier stuff. I think I'll call it a video right here. Uh, thank you all very, very much for watching. Next time, we're going to the Hanging Gardens. See you all then.